When you're tearing around a racetrack like Alton Park, you're more aware than ever of the power of good tyres to keep you on the ground, especially on the bends. Alan Abercrombie from Michelin has just joined me in the studio right now. And Alan, I know you've cracked this age-old problem of getting away from the traditional black tyre. But how have you done it? Because it's made out of carbon and carbon is black. Well, carbon black is there purely and simply to give the tyre some resistance to abrasion and wear. Uh, new tyres, new technology tyres, the energy tyre from Michelin, uses silica as an as a agent to stop this um, uh, abrasiveness. Right, we can see some pictures of them now. And they obviously look very interesting and, and, and naturally colourful. Sure. But, but what about performance and durability and safety? The, the tyre behaves in exactly the same way as what one would call a normal tyre. The fact that it's using silica, and silica is a, a neutral colour, we can colour that tyre any, any colour we like. But the tyre performs in exactly the same way, the same grip, the same mileage, the same water clearance. Everything about the tyre is the same, except that it's coloured. But why, what's the point of having a coloured tyre? What's the point of having colour-coordinated bumpers and colour-coordinated wing mirrors? Uh, there may be people out there, and we're testing it in the market at the moment, who would like to be able to enhance their car in various ways by have a co having colour-coordinated tyres. Will they cost a lot more? There'll be a slight premium on them, but not a lot more, perhaps 5 10%, something so like that. Take that as a yes, then? Oh, uh, you take it as a yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what kind of cars will we see them on, do you think? Mainly on the, the fashion-type cars, the Twingos, the Ford cars, those type of things. People that um, have a, a small uh, car which, if you like, shows their, their personality. The posers. The posers. The posers like. and the hairdressers. Um, the crimpers. <laughs> yes. And, and not the health visitors and teachers. No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yes. Uh, what is in the coloration, though? I mean, you, you talk about silica, but what exactly is it? Silica is a, a natural formed substance that is along the line of sand, I suppose, in, in some instances. But uh, it's used because. Tyres now have a lower rolling resistance. Everything is, is towards economy. Uh, we've gone a long way towards giving extra mileage with the radial tyre. With economy now, we're looking at fuel consumption. And low rolling resistance tyres give you extra miles per gallon. What colours can we get? You, what colour do you want? You can, you can order your colour to match anything at all. Well, I, I, I suppose the more uh, you order, the more expensive they become. If right. you want a one-off striped tyre, perhaps we can do it for you. But and that's uh, not a concept, that's a reality at the moment. That's a reality. There are cars in Europe, on a test market in France, Germany and Italy, running around on coloured tyres. But a concept that you are working on is a tyre that can run flat, essentially. Tell me about that. Yes, we've just uh, shown to the world uh, a tyre called the vertically anchored tyre, which is a new concept of uh, connecting the tyre to the wheel. And by that concept the, the concept, the tyre is in fact clipped onto the wheel, not retained on the wheel by the air pressure within the tyre. So if you lose air pressure, the tyre remains on the rim and you can run on for 130 miles at 55 miles an hour or up to 55 miles an hour to get to wherever you want for the tyre to be repaired or, in some instances, to a place of safety. There was a bit of a hoo-ha in the States, wasn't there, when uh, Bill Cosby's son was killed changing a tyre. Now, has this initiative come out of that kind of incident, or is it something that tyre manufacturers were working on anyway? We, we've always been working on that type of uh, concept, but uh, I suppose one can say that the Cosby incident has accelerated the, the demand for that type of tyre, and we see that uh, it will be a big seller in the States. In Europe, it will come later, but it's, it's a glimpse of the future as far as we're concerned. Right. There must be some drawbacks, though. There are some drawbacks in as much as you have to have a special wheel and a special tyre um, combination. Uh, the tyre is slightly heavier. There is a, a slight decrease in uh, ride comfort, perhaps. Maneuverability as well, presumably. No, no. The maneuverability is in, enhanced, in fact, because you shorten the wall and the tyre is much more responsive to steering efforts and cornering uh, uh, side forces. So, yes, there's a great leap forward as far as maneuverability and handling is concerned. The small drawback from that is perhaps a, a slight decrease in the comfort levels. How far away are we from seeing it on the roads, on production cars? Uh, you will see car production cars appearing on this tyre at the end of 1998. Right, so we're around the corner. It's around the corner, but that's not going to change the whole industry overnight, no. just like that. Okay, Alan, thanks. We'll leave it there before you get tired. <laughs> okay. Tired.